Hey guys, well today I made some striking revelations. So right now I'm watering the teas. Um, I'm going to show you this one, this is pretty special. <sighs> when I tried to eventual sex some of the teas, I kind of got my Lassador Parahibana mixed up. Um, the one I got at the expo, the one you see right here, Mirabelle. Let me just um, uh, macro as so you can see. Uh, this one might be a male, and Dan is very likely a female because I did see a spermatheke when I actually closely examined it. So um, that's awesome. Pretty cool. I'll be happy to tell you the first tea to molt in March 2010 is my grandma stole a pull stripes Choco Goldeny, and his name is Mario. Yeah, I do believe it's a male, so um, actually, I can take out the skin and we can examine it. Probably molted shortly. Uh, probably molted very recently. Okay. So let me get it prepared and we'll try to sex it. So I guess Mario had molted upright because <laughs> the way the molt is going, it's really awkward. But anywho, um, this camera may not be the greatest to look at a T when you try to suck its molt. Um, hmm. Trying to put the light on so you can see. Not really, but I do not see any spermatic key on the specimen. So it leads me to believe that that's a male. But don't worry, I have some females so I could try to breed in the near future. But he's gone considerably large. Right now he's probably about oh, two and a half, two point seven five inches. That's pretty cool. So I just posted this video to share my first tea to molt in March. And hopefully there will be many more to come. Alright guys, peace.